The man who posted videos of himself with Francis McDormand's Oscar is now facing felony theft charges, while the people in charge of the Academy Awards Governor's Ball are facing serious questions about security. Questions are being asked about how this guy got into one of the toughest tickets in town. We did it! It's the moment caught on tape as the accused thief tries to get away with his stolen Oscar. Is that his? This eagle-eyed photographer sensed something wasn't right when he spotted suspect Terry Bryan pretending he was an Oscar winner. The photographer, who works for celebrity chef Wolfgang Puck, stopped the thief and got the Oscar back to its panicked and teary-eyed rightful owner. Best Actress winner, Frances McDormand. I love my Oscar. Now, everyone's wondering about the serious breach of Oscar security. At the Oscars, even the fans sitting in bleachers along the red carpet had to pass background checks. Yet Bryant has a long rap sheet. We found seven prior mug shots for various offenses. How did Bryant, a convicted felon, get a legitimate ticket to one of Hollywood's most exclusive parties, the Governor's Ball? Jim Murray spoke with retired LAPD Sergeant Cheryl Dorsey, who in past years has worked the Oscar detail. How would you characterize what happened at the Governor's Ball? It's a big deal. He was able to get in, get his hands on an Oscar, and could have potentially hurt someone. I'm outside the Dolby Theater where the Academy Awards are held. 3,400 people attend the Academy Awards, but less than half that score tickets to the exclusive after party, the Governor's Ball. Those lucky ticket holders walk from here, take an escalator up five floors to the ballroom. Inside, Oscar winners and VIPs mingle, enjoy cocktails, and dine on a feast. After all, they're starving after the three-hour show. Police say Terry Bryant somehow had a ticket to the ball. The Academy has not commented on how Terry Bryant got his ticket to attend the Governor's Ball.